everybody. How are you guys doing today? My name is Claudia and this is Katie Counseling. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome. I don't know if that made any sense. I hope it did, but I don't know. I feel empowered. Um, um, how I'm feeling. Let's say, let's talk about how I'm feeling. I am not scared to start because again, like I've been around so many people for so many years that I don't know, like, I like being in a room full of people, I don't mind talking in front of people, I don't mind being asked questions, I don't mind being approached, like, I don't mind it, like, you, it's, it's good, but, um, I know that for my own schedule, it's gonna be, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little, not anxious in a bad way, but it's gonna be a lot of travel time. It's gonna be a lot of mitigating like between my schedule and it's gonna be toe to toe. And you know, I am praying to God that I will be healthy to do everything I need to do. So yeah, that's the one thing it's in this, in this part of this program, I mean, unless I find somebody to do like, zoom therapy or whatnot which I also have that in my back pocket and I may utilize it once I get into the program and if I need more hours I might um look into that to supplement my hours but um excuse me so yeah to be honest um I did kind of want to I did want to work for a facility for this internship so I guess this is the next part um, the one thing I wanted to say, and again, I think I said it in the last video briefly, I think to learn effectively, at least in your, like, internship practicum, I believe for myself the best thing is to go into a facility and see how it runs and see different clients and really learn the systems, um, that you have to utilize to, um, be, I guess, when you're working for a facility, there's, you know, ways you have to do certain things. And I know everybody's going to do it in a different way, but at the same time, I want to have that experience. Um, how do I explain this? I think that coming out of school and graduating, um, and then wanting to get hired, by a facility may be harder if your only experience is with one clinician in private practice. So I think that it would be beneficial to have experience in a facility because once you're employed by a facility, um, there's certain things you have to do, right? Um, being employed in a facility, you have to your fingerprints done, run a background check, take a drug test, uh, work with professionals, again, that are, are like, established, um, that, you know, have credentials where you can learn from them within their, you know, skills, um, and again, if you are only working with one person, I could see how that experience may not pan out if you wanted to get like a job at a facility right out of school. Um, let me elaborate on that a little bit more. I think that if you don't want to get fully employed as a licensed, finished, graduated professional in a place like that, right? Let's say I want to go through my, my internship, whatever I finish, I think it would still long term on your resume, even though it's an internship, would be good that you've been employed by like a system, right? Because I don't know if you ever want to get into one, if they look at it and be like, oh yeah, she interned here for a year, she knows the protocols, she's familiar with the way we write notes, how we assess, how you work in a team, right? So I think that it's beneficial to do it if you can. You guys, oh my gosh, I could sit here and talk forever. Um, 
I this video is going to be in two parts. I already see it. So yeah, not to go off on a tangent, my opinion, I would, um, yeah, I would try to do or participate within different spheres. But, you know, where am I going with this? For myself, I don't think I would get the best education if I just worked with one professional. Because at the end of the day, that one professional niches down in whatever they do. And I don't know if I just want to pick up the habits of one person that works on their own. That's not checked by a system regularly. That's just me though. Those are just my thoughts. And uh, again, for practice, aka internship, I think that's valuable to learn it. So then when you go into private practice, because that's kind of what I would like to do, either part-time coming out of school or full-time, we'll see how it works. But um, yeah, a lot of the people that got offers at school, like right when they graduated, so many people got offers at like their internship sites. And again, that might not be a place where you wanna stay, but it's good to see that you have options, right? Like it's good to work or intern somewhere and then that place go, hey, like we wanna give you a job. So that brings me to the next part of this video. There are going to be offers to you guys. And this is where I kind of, again, I draw just like such a like decision. Like I think that, All right, how do I explain this? When I graduated undergrad, obviously I'm not a licensed professional or whatever, but nobody was opening up their doors going, Claudia, we wanna hire you, right? Nobody, nobody's gonna do that. You have to do it yourself. You have to apply your skills, knowledge, whatever, interview, whatever, right? But with the masters, when you're done, like um, one of the interviews that I did the supervisor said, oh, the intern leaving in January? Oh, she's going to work here full time. She already accepted her position. What? You know what I mean? Fantastic. Oh my gosh. And then there was other people in my program that are, that shared with us, yeah, I'm going to be full time at this and this uh, place. <clears throat> and again, licensed mental health counselors are getting hired in so many different kinds of places. I know a place in town that's a big, big, big company. They have their headquarters here. They have a licensed mental health counselor on staff. So, never say never. Um, yeah, so one last thing I wanted to add to this is really think about what you want to do. And it's great to think about it even the day you start your program. And I hope my little rants here will help you look and do research about the decisions you want to make. So once you get to the point where the decisions, decision is in front of you, you don't have to like panic. You've already thought it out. All right, guys, I cannot talk anymore. I need some water. Find me over on KD Counseling. Let me know if you have any questions down below like and subscribe um and if you want the videos to like pop up as a notification once i post hit that little bell that really helps me with like the youtubers that i like because sometimes i'm like where's that video i want to watch this video <laughs> you know i'm like i know they post on mondays where's my video and i didn't have the bell on so anyway i hope this is helpful for you guys i try to do the best i can you and everybody around you. I hope you have a wonderful day.